In this video, we'll move forward with our Journey Planner app and create a card component which will show our selected places details in a user-friendly way. Hey everyone, I'm Zueb Khan, a front-end engineer and welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, we ended up with the Google Autocomplete Places Input field. Now let's use the same field to build up our UI and then go on to create a card component which can display all of our place details. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is to remove this that we have added previously. And now next we are going to add an input area which is going to contain this place autocomplete. So let's add a div here and we're going to add, we're going to call this input area and inside of this we're going to add a heading. Let's call this heading I want to go from and then we're going to give our app place autocomplete with the from okay and then we're going to add another one which we're going to say to and then we're going to give our to autocomplete here. Here we're going to make from value to to value okay. Do we have to value? We don't. So we're going to add it now and it will be the same as before. Okay, let's remove this extra one and uh, now uh, if we check this out, it's going to uh, be organized in a vertical uh, fashion. So we need to convert it into a horizontal uh, row. So we are going to make our input area as display flex and next now let's check it out how it looks like. Mm, okay, not that ideal. So we are going to add some gap here. Okay. okay, we have a gap and we also want to align our items in a center. Great, this is perfect. So the next thing that we need to do is to add the display area. But before that, what we're going to do, we're going to add our place details card. So let's create a new component here. We're going to do NGGC. We're going to put it in our components folder again. And we're going to call it place details card. Great, so place details component has been created. Now let's go into our place details component and let's see how to add data to it. So first we are going to add an input to it right at the top here. The input here will be our type of place search result. Okay, we're going to make it undefined I guess because initially it could be undefined and uh, the next we have to include the material card because we're going to use the material card component here so to include that we are going to add an import here import from angular material card and here we are going to write mat card module it adds it automatically okay and here we are going to then uh, start adding the mat card great and the first thing we need to do is to add a check here for when the data uh, is not null and it also doesn't have the address as null. okay so when the address is not null uh, it has some value this means that it is a valid uh, place search result and we can show the details from it okay so now we have to use the data that we're getting here to uh, display the Im uh, display uh, the different details in the card the first detail that we don't want to show is our image so for the image we're going to add a source of the data dot image URL okay and uh, we are going to give it a mat card image directive this is going to format the image uh, which suits the mat card module okay so uh, now how do we test this out so to test this out we're going to add some dummy data here so we are going to add so I have a set of dummy data here which is from the, for the white house location and I'm going to add it here okay this location is giving me issues so I'm just going to remove this we don't need the location for now okay so now uh, we need to show this and we need to test this out uh, how it looks so we are going to uh, display this for example right below the input area here so let's uh, add or let's first we'll have to import our component here so we're going to import our place details component and we're going to show this here app place details and let's see how it looks okay so you can see there's a card here but it spans the entire width okay so this we're going to fix in a bit but let's go back to the place details and keep adding our data here the header we are going to add at the bottom of the card uh, and why do we do that because it looks better in this case so we're going to add the mat he mat card header and uh, inside of it uh, there is an avatar or there's a, a small circle avatar at the left side and there is a title on the right side so um, we're going to add an image which will be the avatar and we're going to call this mat card avatar so that it formats it appropriately and for the source of this we're going to assign it to our data dot icon url all right then for the title we are going to add mat card title okay and inside of this we are going to do 
data dot name all right let's see how this looks now okay so it spans the entire width we are going to fix that but we have our name and the icon the, um, displayed as we want it now we could uh, keep adding details here we could keep adding description or the other data that we have but actually we don't need it right now so we are going to uh, leave it at that um, uh, for the purposes of this tutorial okay now one thing here is that we want our image to fit our um, area so we are going to style it somewhat and we are going to add a class of place image here and for the styles we are going to add a style here called place image and for this style we are going to add a height of 200 pixels because we want our uh, image to be uh, of the same heights and if we ha are having similar card views it is uh, a recommended best practice that the card should be of the same size otherwise it looks inconsistent on the UI so to, to do that we are going to fix the height of the image or at least the container for it and when we fix the height of this we don't want the image to distort so what we are going to do is we are going to just add object fit cover which is going to cover the content of the image inside of that area and we're going to make the object position as center so that the image is centered let's see how this looks okay so uh, since the width is too large um, it doesn't appear that good but as you can see it is of a specific height and we want our cards to be of this specific height now when we reduce the width the image will look uh, better in proportion size okay yeah so this is uh, how we want the layout to be so i think we are done here and we can now move on to creating the display area uh, layout with the cards let's add the display area here and we're going to go back to app component we are going to uh, instead of this app place details we are going to uh, add a div here okay now inside of this div we are going to give a class of we're going to call it display area okay so let's add some styles to the display area just like we did for the input area so we're going to okay so display area and this display area is going to be our whole area which will contain uh, the card and the uh, map on the right side so let's just expand it fully and see how it looks like so we're going to just view it in an expanded state from now on okay let's expand this as well so uh, for the display area we're going to make it display flex okay and uh, then we have a div inside of it so the first div here would be our card uh, view area so we're going to add our card here and let's say we do place details okay okay so this would be one card here and let's style this card now the card inside of it where we can target it with the diff and the width we want it to be about 30 percent and we want to have a bit of padding here so that we can see the whole card along with the shadows uh, of the card because that looks nice and uh, then for the height we want this whole area to be of a specific height but let's first check out how this looks now okay so you can see that our window is divided into 30 percent and 70 percent this is for the map so for the map we are going to um, add that later but the card looks good here so let's add our now fixed height here the reason for that is so that we don't have to use the global scroll bar uh, so let's add a height here which we will calculate it will be the 100% uh, of the viewport and we're going to subtract 180 pixels from it this is going to give uh, give us the uh, all of the width that we have here uh, for the map so this is going to prevent our scroll in this area but we can add a scroll in the div here so we are going to give uh, the height of this as inherit it will be the same height as we have of the display area but we are going to have an overflow of auto here okay okay so let's add now uh, another place details at the bottom here and let's see how this looks like components so we can see as yes, okay there's no space between them so that is one more thing that we need to add we are going to add inside of this div we are going to do uh, for all of the uh, content inside of this we want to add a margin bottom of 16 pixels okay let's see how this looks okay so that doesn't seem to work and the reason is because by default an angular component does not have the display block and it's display inline so uh, and and that doesn't respect the margins uh, as it should so uh, what we need to do is we need to go in our component and we need to add a host selector and make that component display block by default okay now we can see the margins have been applied properly and the carded view looks good okay so let's wire up everything now and uh, to wire up everything we are going to send in the data here and first we are going to obviously remove our uh, hard coding here we are going to add the undefined again 
because it could be undefined and then we're going to add data dot icon and data dot name here that's like we would do for undefined data and here we are going to send in data we are going to send the from value and in the data we're going to send the to value here okay okay let's check this out now and how it looks let's test this out uh, one last time and now it doesn't show anything at first because initially it's empty now let's for example say that okay we want to go from Imperial College London to okay Imperial College London to let's say Manchester University and yes we can see both of our cards appearing correctly with all of the data and when we remove any of our cards here we can see that the card goes away and if you remove this this goes away as well and now with our layout now set up in the next part we are left with adding the google maps component here in this right section here so stay tuned everyone the best part is yet to come if you haven't subscribed to my channel just press the subscribe button now thanks for watching